Um, today I am going to be showing you how to create this beautiful um, invitation with the greenery on top in just a few minutes in PicMonkey for free. It's easy. Anybody can do it. Um, and I'm going to show you how. So I, I just want to um, show you what the finished invitation looks like so you can get an idea of what we're going to be making today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over to PicMonkey.com, which is a free internet editing um, program. They do have a paid version, but you do not need it unless you want it or you already have it. But for this purpose, you won't need anything paid for PicMonkey. So just go to www.PicMonkey.com. And then we're going to choose Edit, because by this time you will have downloaded the template. And you're going to choose Computer. And you're going to pull up the file from your computer and um, edit it to add your details. So we're going to pull up the blank template. And all it's going to have on it right now is the artwork. And then I'm going to show you how you can easily add your event details and have a beautiful invitation ready to print in just a few minutes. So um, what's going to happen is PicMonkey will pull it up just like this. And you see it's blank, it just has the artwork here on top. So I'm going to show you how to add your details. All you're going to do, it's already sized and ready to go, is you're going to go over here to this T icon for text. You're going to click on it, and it's going to pull up a bunch of fonts that you can use. And it, it has tons of really nice free fonts that you can use, and you can also use fonts that you have already installed on your computer if you decide to do that as well. Um, but you don't need to. They, they give you plenty of options here for free that you can use, and you don't have to um, worry about downloading any special fonts or anything like that. Okay, so you'll see here it loaded the fonts, and these are their fonts where it says ours. These are the PicMonkey fonts that they offer. Anything with a little gold crown is going to be the paid version. So unless you have the premium version, you will have to choose one of the ones without a gold crown, and it's a free version. Or if you wanted to use a font that you already have on your computer, you would click here on yours, and it would load all the fonts you already have on your own computer. But for the tutorial purpose, I'm just going to use the free fonts that they offer here so I can show you how easy it is. So I'm going to choose this pretty one here for the names and the date, and I'm going to click on the font that I want and click add text and it will bring up a um, text box for me to double click and type into so see where it says type your text here I'm going to double click and I'm just going to type in some names of a bride and a groom so let's just say Monica and Joshua and then I am going to just center it over here and I'm going to drag it to where I want it so about here and make it a little bigger with this button here you can slide it up or down to make your font bigger or smaller so I'm going to make it a little bigger and just drag it out there and um, kind of move it with my mouse to where I want it. So about there. So there's the names. I'm going to go over here and choose a classic font here for free, Cardo. It's one of the ones they offer for free. And I'm going to click again, Add Text. And we'll bring up another text box. And here I'm going to type, um, Together with their families. Now this is really big, you see. I'm going to fix that really easily just by highlighting it and dragging this little button down to the size that I want. And then usually for invitations, 52 to 59 is appropriate. It looks best. So and then I'm going to center it. And then again, I'm just going to drag it right up here. Okay. And then because I already have this size and ready to go and I'm going to use it, I am going to duplicate the text, drag it down, and now add some more detail. So request
you can add whatever wording you want. I'm just using some standard wedding invitation wording. And again, you're just going to highlight it, center it, and I'm just going to drag it down to about back up to 52. And then I'm just going to just drag this out so that the text looks a little better. I'm going to put it here. There's that piece. Now I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to leave a space there to put the date and the time, and I'm going to use this pretty font to do that. So I'm going to enter the rest of the details first and then do that last. So after the date and time, I'm going to put the location. So let's just say Oak Valley Ranch. I'll put in a fake address. And I'll double space and just write reception to follow. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drag it down a little to about there. And now the last step is I'm going to click on the pretty font with the names and I'm going to click on duplicate text because I want that pretty font for the date. And I'm going to double click on it to highlight it. And I'm going to type in a date. So let's just say June 12, 2018. I'm going to make it smaller. So let's say, oh, let's do about there. And I'm going to drag it to the center right about there. And I'm going to use this plain text at the top, and I'm going to duplicate that and drag it right under the date. I'm going to double click, and I'm going to add the time of the event. So let's just say at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There we go. And that looks about how I want it. Let me see. Let me space it down just a little more here. And bring this down a little further, maybe about there. And the date just a little about there. Perfect. And now I have an invitation that I can just save and print as many copies as I want to. And it, we did that in just a few minutes. So. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how easy it is to use these templates in PicMonkey and you don't have to have any special skills. It takes just a few minutes and you can have something beautiful to send out to your guests in no time. Um, if you want these templates, I'll leave the link down below so that you can um, access these templates to use also. Um, all you need is white cardstock. You can print them at home on your, your home printer. You can use a local copy shop like Kinko's or Office Max, or you can use an online vendor like Vistaprint. It's really up to you. Um, if you have any questions or if there's a certain design you guys would like to see, I would love to do it for you. So just leave me a comment down below and I'd be happy to help you guys out. Um, also, just one more little note is these templates come with the invitation, the RSVP, and the details card. It's not just the invitation. So the other files are just as easy, if not easier, to add text to. And then you just save them to your computer and print them um, wherever you'd like. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Export, save it to my computer, and then we are done. And I'm really um, happy to share this with you guys again. And if I... Um, can do anything, any special designs that you guys want to see, I'd love to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And there it is on my computer and I'm done. Now when I want to access it, I just send it wherever I want to be printed or I can print it from home. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. Thanks. Bye-bye.